And we are now with somebody who just finished a, a set of music. And her name is Cecile McLaurin Silvat. Cecile. How about some headphones? Now you can hear me. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Welcome to Rochester. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, and, uh, we just saw each other about three hours ago at the at the hotel by accident. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Transformation, and here we are. So again, thanks so much for coming out, and congratulations on all the amazing success you've been have, enjoying. And we can't thank you enough for really, as we were saying, bringing vintage black, glamour black back. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> so, with your set. Your sets are so amazing. How do you choose the tunes? Because it just seems to flow one after another. Uh, well, thank you <laughs> for that. Um, I guess uh, we have a set repertoire that we kind of choose from. Um, I guess in my choice of, of repertoire, I always try to find songs that have some kind of weirdness to them, some kind <laughs> of like edge yeah. to them. Um, I really like funny songs too. I like when there's a sense of humor and some irony and some bite to uh, to the repertoire. Uh, and so, you know, once we once we have all these songs down and we've rehearsed them, it's just a question of choosing based on our mood, based <laughs> on the venue, and um, also just trying to vary it up for the audience, but also for ourselves, so that we're not always playing the same things. But there are definitely some songs that are always in the set, like Nobody is always in the set. Right. Yeah, and talk about the reason why you like to choose a song like Nobody. It's going all the way back to the very beginning of Black Mill Street, the vaudeville era, something from the early 20th century. Why do you often choose that song? Because I love that tune, but why do you choose it? Well, um, I just love that song. I mean, I, I love Burt Williams' version of it. I think it's equal parts, like just heartbreakingly sad and also just like hilarious at the same time which is something that's i find really difficult to uh mm -hmm. to do and um yeah i think it, it's just a song that uh that is really rich in terms of its history in terms of like the context in which it was written and um yeah, it's just it's also just like I, it's I, a lot of fun. I, it's a lot of fun. I love <laughs> yeah. to hear it, um, and I love to sing it. And it's one of those songs that uh, it's almost a hundred years old, but there's still a lot of things, different things we can do with it. And um, it's funny, Aaron Deal always uh, always tries to come up with something new yeah, on it, tough. new spin on it. So it's really really fun to play. We're speaking with Cecile McLaurin Sylvain. She just finished her six o'clock set, getting ready for a ten o'clock set. Cecile, before I let you go. So outside of jazz, what else do you like to listen to? Other oh, I like to listen to uh, Baroque music. I All like right. to listen to hip hop. Um, I like um, R&B, soul. I like funk, disco, Motown, bluegrass, uh, <laughs> um, South American folk music. All right. So I can keep going. It's, I love it. It's a broad <laughs> spectrum. So I guess I should ask, what's the last thing you remember listening to? The last thing I listened to must have been, uh, I've been really getting into flamenco lately. Oh, really? And I've been listening to a flamenco duo called Lole y Manuel. Mm. And uh, it's just beautiful. She has like this almost childlike voice, but very rich, deep, kind of very mature, like otherworldly type of thing. It's gorgeous. And so I've been listening to that. Love it. We're speaking with Cecile McLaurin Sylvant. Again, thank you so much for spending time with us. You know, you got to get ready for your 10 o'clock show. You got to eat. And do it again, Cecile. I have to ask you: Have you seen the, the? You have to understand. Earlier, the line for your first show kicked off about three hours before. You've got to be no, kidding. that's right. And then what happened was, is when your first set went in, that ending when they had to fill the place and stop it, that became the line now for your second performance tonight. Around the building, around the back of the building, and around the block. You've got to be that's kidding. All you. You. That's all you. That's all you. That's all you. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's going on? I don't understand. It's I a lot of people. I do not compute. People are excited to see you tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad. Well, thank so, you very so much for yeah. talking with us. And we, thank uh, you for having we me. We look Absolutely. forward to seeing you tonight.